What is going on, YouTube? Sorry for the mess in my stall. We've been busy. Anywho, um, first off, I'd like to say sorry for the uh, quality of these videos. I just recently got my camera in in the mail, so that will probably stop next week or so. I was also going to get another bike, a Ducati, for my uh, wife, but she said we had too many things at home, so I said okay. But I'm getting myself a new car to play with. It's an E39 540i. It'll be a fun little toy. Anywho, so I was on this Facebook page last night, and a guy named John is having some electrical issues. Now, don't know if this is going to be your issue, but when I got my bike, the previous owner had plastic dipped the hell out of this fucker. I mean, it's just all over the place. Um, it's getting a new motor. Jesus, it's getting a new motor probably next week or the week after. I'm still waiting on it. Completely forgot where I was at. My partner just came in and was talking to me. Um, the previous owner plastic dipped the hell out of this bike. And it's kind of up against the wall. Yes, it's dirty. It's getting a new engine. I don't really care if this one's dirty or not. Shit. Grab a flashlight real quick. Walk onto this big, pretty snap on box. Can't find the light. This fucker will do. I said I apologize for using my phone. But that will be changing as soon as I go out and buy a fucking uh, SD card. So anyway. I, it's kind of hard to see. Especially that bullshit in my way. Get out of there. Is it still going? Yes. Okay. Ground plug, right? There ground plug ground wire the owner plastic dipped it and was making good connection for me a lot of dirt gets up on it that could be your issue another one is right there it wasn't even on my bike when I got it and it was still riding probably not your issue still charging and all that um, that's really the only thing I can think of that one wire it gets a lot of dirt and oil and shit caked up on it. I would say just go ahead and take that one off. And it's right about kind of back there if your motor is together. Right about back there you'll see it. And um, clean it off like some uh, 180 grit or something like that. It might just be dirty. I don't even care because I'm getting new fairings. Um... I'm also doing new headlights because that one's fucked up. Um, let's see, I've already got a new wiring harness for this because when I got it, when I got it, it was all messed up. And that was only, I think I paid like 20 bucks for it over eBay. Um, new fairings, all this was plastic dip when I first got it. I think Monday when I get here, I'm going to spray some primer on this. And I took these off. Now, I plan on doing, like, vlogs and shit like that. So, I think I might just kind of put one of my cameras there. But hopefully, here within the next week to two weeks, you know, I'll have it running again and all that. It just, the uh, stock cam chain went out on me and... Been 8 out of 16 valves. Um, <laughs> so now I know. But, uh. Yeah. Uh, these right here, I need new clip on handlebars because these are all fucked up. That's fucked up. But no big deal. I have it looking nice. I'm going to paint the tank white because I'm going to get uh, unpainted white fairings on it. And then I'm going to wrap them. And I, I have a pretty good idea of what wrap I'm going to get. 
I'm going to actually paint the frame black and not plastic dip it because that's just not a good idea. Um, probably the rims black and the fairing bolts will probably be like a dark dark blue or a purple. Um, but to help you out that is the only thing I can think of. Um, Yeah, that's it, really. Um, something I thought interesting, and I don't know how I got away with this. Maybe someone can tell me, but my rectifier is right there. It's not grounded or anything like that. Now, on my other Yamaha bobber, it has to be grounded, or the bike just won't start. So I don't know why my rectifier isn't grounded. I just kind of thought that was weird, unless that counts as a ground, which doing body work it wouldn't for me. But I hope that helps you out. Sorry, I'm using my camera, so it's not the best video. But it's right down in there. If you take your gas tank off, you'll be able to see it. But it's like right there, right on your carburetor. If you still can't, if you still can't find it, message me, and I'll do another video before I take it to the shop to have the new motor put in. Um, I'll do another video with my new camera. Uh, I just kind of have to get an SD card for it. But um, I hope that helps. Like I said, it's probably that a lot of oil, a lot of grease builds up there, and it kind of uh, messes with the ground. Um. I hope that helps. If not, just message me and uh, I'll see what I can find. And like I said, you know, I plan on doing videos. Um, I might wrap it myself. I might have someone professionally do it. I'm not sure. But I plan on doing a lot of videos of me fixing it up. And I plan on having it for a while. I really like when it when it rides and all that. I have to have the... Uh, I have to have the fork seals done. I think that is like an understatement. But I'm having that done. I'm having a new key in chamber. New engine. Um, and then I'll start with the lights and all that good stuff. I'm going to put an undertail on it. Seat cowl. I'm going to redo the seats. I, that's kind of boring, but if you guys would like, I can always put a video of my wife doing it. Because I'm not going to do it myself. <laughs> Alrighty guys, take it easy.